An FBI raid at a local elementary school teacher's home. Tonight, he's arrested, accused of producing child pornography. Good evening, I'm Brett Conley. Agents seized thousands of images from the home computer of 42 year old Matthew Graziati, including an image of the Edgewater man sexually abusing a young boy. West 2's Amanda Ober is live at the school he taught at tonight. And Amanda, you spoke with both school officials and neighbors. That's right, Brett. Graziati is in jail tonight on charges that he produced and distributed thousands of images of child pornography. The superintendent here at the private Christian school where Graziati taught for nine years tells me that there were never any red flags. According to papers filed in federal court, Graziati was caught after he sent over 100 images of child porn to an undercover FBI agent. Graziati is a middle school teacher, coach, and director of the summer camp program at Warner Christian Academy in South Daytona. We were all shocked. I mean, we really were. I, um, um, like I said, there was nothing at all that would have point to any of that because if there would have been, I'd have been investigating it. FBI agents raided Graziati's Edgewater home early Monday. Neighbors watched as they carried out bags of evidence and then escorted Graziati out in handcuffs. They say he hung his head. Almost a shame because there were a couple of us that knew him that were out. And I think he was a little upset at the fact that we knew that this was. You know, what he had done. According to the criminal complaint, the FBI recovered a laptop with over 8,000 images of child porn. Most of them showed the sexual abuse and exploitation of prepubescent children. In addition, there was a folder entitled Personally Known that contained 41 subfolder titles with boys' names. The report also says at least one of the images shows Graziati himself engaged in a sex act on a young boy. As for who the alleged victims may have been, that's unknown, including whether any of them could have been Graziati's students. That we don't know. Um, I can honestly tell you that I firmly believe that it didn't happen here. Um, we don't allow our teachers to be in situations like that. Now, the superintendent tells me the summer camp that Graziati directed here at the school is still going on, and they will have counselors here tomorrow and for the next several weeks to assist any students or staff who need help. Also, we learned tonight that several years ago, Graziati served as a youth pastor at Friendship Community Church in Edgewater. No word yet on whether investigators have reached out to that church. Live in South Daytona, Amanda Ober, WESH 2 News.